Mount Shasta. Prost, Yasas, Yamas, Prost. This guy got a Navy Cross and he shot down Admiral Yamamoto and then he went underneath this bridge in a jet. Wow. What? Patricia did the shopping for fruit and vegetables for 10 people for five days. Old Vine Vin. Yeah. Right by our campsite, female Chinook were defending their territory and running off other females. There was a white-headed one and a white-tailed one, and they didn't get along. French toast and sausage. Everybody gets at least two. There's some extra French toast, sausage two. There's a few extra. So these fish came into the Columbia River in the springtime, anywhere between February and May. And they evolved to take advantage of that spring conditions. They are, they are the schnook that are running up as far up into the headwaters as possible. And they'll sit in this, this fresh water all summer long in the deepest, coldest holes, all stage ready to go. And then feed and hang out in there. And about a month, month and a half later, they'll actually start emerging out of those gravels. So they're in those gravels between Depending on the water temperature, three to six months. Completely beat up, their tails, there's no flesh even on their tails anymore because they've been beating the gravels to get the gravels all covered up. Feed everything. The, the macro invertebrates, the little fish, the minks, the otters, the osprey, the bears, everything is eating on them. When you're digging your hole you don't need to dig a deep hole by any means the biggest thing is just making sure that the roots are facing down so you'll see that with some of the looser roots you don't want the roots to be up you don't want them to be hanging out because that will dry out the plant i guess that's is that about right yeah you want it just about right oh all right crop that we put out to try to hold the bank in and it's not invasive and fern they're really hardy and so like basically they transplant really really well and they're free because they live on the forest
Yeah. So it took us about a week for us to drag them all in, and then another week to place everything. So it took about two weeks to do all this work. 200 pieces of large wood, 170 pieces were 50 feet in length, and about 20 pieces were about 90 feet in length. Rhododendrons. Ooh, cool. All right, and then the cedar. And the cedar. We got some dog fur. We had a, another fur up here. Here we go. How far should we dig it down? Just kind of level? Oh, wow. It's day three. It is. Breakfast day three. And you got uh, onions and... Okay, nice work. We spent a great afternoon at Timberline and uh, we'll do another video later. All right, dinner, day four. Day five. So she was, she was digging, so she's digging her red, and so when the female fish dig their red, they go, ch -ch -ch, and they like dig a little indentation, there's a little bit of a, of a um, pile up behind them, and then from there they'll, they'll lay their eggs, and then they'll put a little bit of sediment back on and protect them. These are Doug firs, Douglas firs, and we have western red cedar, and a few yellow cedar. You know why, the reason they're in the shade, Especially the dog. Nice shot, thank you. Have a good lunch. Bye. Perfectly round in shape. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. One more. Want to flip that one? And Day seven. Creation in progress. Too. I don't know what they're doing. Well, it looks like they're watering them. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Got a hold of the tail. Wow. Ooh, Ooh. 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 vicious. Whoa. Well, I, I don't think it has to be.
Day seven, how was it? It was tremendous. And our girls are still there. There she is. It's great firework. Great, what do they call it? I don't know, a little morning fire? Yeah. Good idea. Time uh, with you. more of your adventures here. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Bill. Bill. Goodbye, last fire. Bye, last fire. All the way up to the sky. <laughs>